This is a quick how to install, download, data transfer for your Tremble equipment. First thing we need to do is go to um, Google Chrome or your Internet Explorer, whichever you prefer. I'm going to use Google Chrome. You go up to your uh, address bar and type in Tremble.com and um, go to support and training highlighted go over to support A to Z uh, you can go to the letters here or numbers uh, we're looking for data transfer utility so you go to D here or you could scroll down I'll just do the D here and we're gonna go to data transfer utility click on that and then uh, what I normally use you, you can you can either go with this one or this one. I always do the one-click install um, and that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, the, the file itself is the same difference so go with the first one. Now this gives you the ability to download it now or uh, it, it'll, it tells you that if you want to uh, save it to distribute to other users or what have you you can do it by clicking here. Uh, either way if I download it's going to take it and download it to my PC here down below and you can view it here at show all documents when you're done. I'm going to tell it that I want it to open when it's done. So I'm going to select that and I'll just wait for it to finish downloading. Once it's downloaded, it'll uh, it'll pop up this window wanting you to uh, install it. Tell it yes. And it will request, uh, you know, different languages. We'll go with English. Uh, then it gives you uh, the ability to remove it and reinstall it fresh. Uh, repair, like if it's missing uh, some kind of file that makes it run properly, it'll it'll repair it. I run with modify. It just uh, reinstalls it. So that's what I'm going to do next. Now it uh, gives you a window where it's asking you if you want the mapping in GIS devices. So what that does is it'll install all the drivers that uh, pertain to the mapping side, the geos, etc., uh, and the land survey. So receivers like R7s or R8 plus the data collectors. Uh, I do both, so I'm going to go ahead and check both off. I'm going to hit next. So now it's installed, wants me to finish. So now that the program is installed, I will go to my start button and I will go to all programs and I will go search for Trimble data transfer. So here it is. Um, you can either run it from here or let's just, I'm going to send it, right click on it, I'm going to send it to the desktop as a shortcut and here it is move it anywhere you want I'll put it down here so I will run it now this is the data transfer utility itself um, it's searching to connect but there's nothing there so um, I'll pull this down these items are the ones that are available for currently to try to download um, this was installed when you installed the program itself um, this really doesn't work for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go over here to devices button and these are all the items that are currently in this pick list okay so what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff I'll just highlight it hit the delete yeah um, the level get rid of all this stuff that doesn't really pertain to what I'm doing uh, I normally don't use these units, so uh, whatnot. It's just less to look at when you're, you know, trying to get your data downloaded. Um, so let's just say um, right now my computer, this computer I'm working on, doesn't have a COM port. So what I'm going to do is um, delete that as well. All I'm using is the ones 
that have uh, USB currently. So let me close that and notice now you only have these two. So I'm going to go back and go to devices. Let me just show you. All the ones I del deleted, you can always come back to go to new and they're there available for you to reassign. Uh, I currently don't care about that. So general survey, that's for your, basically for your uh, TSC3 with access. And it uses, it says Active Sync, but it's really uh, Windows Mobile. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen that, but uh, that's another program that's going to need to be installed in order for you to talk to Windows Mobile devices. Uh, I'll go through with that in, in a second on another video. Uh, the Survey Controller on Active Sync uses the same program, or you can also use Active Sync. Uh, Active Sync uh, no longer functions on the Windows uh, 7 and 8. Uh, platforms. Uh, it was the older XP's that were using Active Sync. At any rate, uh, let me just do one real quick. I'm going to do um, new, and I'm going to say um, I'm going to go look at a GPS receiver. For instance, this one. This carries the 5,000, so that's a 5,700, uh, 5,800, etc. The SPS receivers, as well as the R, R4, 5, 7. 7 GNSS, etc. I say OK. Now, it says USB. If I had zero ports installed, they would be here, but they're not. So I will leave it there. Next. And you can name it. So I'm going to call it SPS 855. And I'll go next. And next. And next. So now it's there for me to utilize. I'll close this. Now it's in my pick list. In, in fact, it comes in as active. But you can select anything you want. So we'll go 855. And then if you want to talk to it, you click on connect. And they'll start looking for it. Of course, it's not going to happen. Um, we'll go to general survey. Same thing. It's going to look over here. But it's not going to happen. So that's OK. Uh, you got send. Uh, this get, receive gives you the ability to extract the data from the data collector or in this case 855 or R8 or whatever. If you want to send or upload like let's say to a data collector and you want to send like a FCL or a CSV or what have you, you can do that by the, pressing these tabs. So sending, um, sending, this, uh, sending data to the unit receiving is extracting to your PC. You click on add, it basically gives you a window um, of the files to select that you want to receive from the device. Then you say open and then you transfer. Um, uh, one quick warning on this is the settings button. Um, there is this particular function down here. Okay, delete files on device after transfer. This right here I would recommend leave it always off. This is something you, um, until you can confirm that your data transfer of the file out of the device to your computer actually was clean and, it, and it's processed and you verified it's all good to go, you better leave it on the original device. Don't delete. This is a, a very dangerous function. Um, I would rather you download it, process it, make sure it's all good. And then manually go to the data collector and delete it. Don't do this. Uh, okay, that. And then uh, that's that's pretty much uh, data transfer.